back to my kitchen. My name is Cody Harmon and today I'm going to teach you about kitchen essentials. So I can't tell you how many times I have gone into someone's kitchen and they've wanted me to either cook, cook them something or teach them how to cook something. They don't even have like the basic kitchen essentials to function. Here are your most important kitchen tools that you need. Number one, you need a knife. You need a good knife. This is your most important tool. I actually, you know, I take my own knives to work. I, have, I take them pretty much anywhere, especially if I'm going to someone's house and they want me to cook because I can guarantee that they aren't gonna have the proper knives. So if you wanna get ahead of the game, get a proper knife. So this is a shun. I really like this knife because it's a good fit for my hand. It's a good weight for me. I actually have I have more than I collect them basically. And I just can't I can't be without a good knife. So step one, buy a knife. Item number two, you need a good cutting board. The size of this is perfect. It's decently large as you can see. Um, I've gone into people's kitchens and I asked for a cutting board and this is what they hand me. And this is not good for anything. I need a smaller cutting board, said no one ever. The only way this would ever be a legit thing to use is if this is the only size counter space that you have. So don't don't buy this. This is not what you want to buy. Number three, iron skillet. This one's a little dirty, excuse that. I use pretty much nothing but iron skillets. They don't contain any chemicals or they're non-stick. Nothing's gonna stick to them. I mean, you have to keep them seasoned. You, you do have to, there's a little bit of upkeep to iron skillets, but they are my favorite. So they make the food taste better. Just it's, please get an iron skillet. Besides an iron skillet, you should also have like a set of pots and pans, just like normal stainless steel, whatever. These aren't very expensive. These are, these aren't like top of the line, but they work. Stop buying non-stick shit. Like, don't do it. I know that it's easier and like your eggs don't stick to it, but you know what's not easy? Cancer. Right. Essential number four, mixing bowls. Um, if you wanna get like different sizes of mixing bowls, that's great. Or if you're like really just short on money, just get like a couple big mixing bowls and that will work for pretty much anything. Spatulas, sheet pans. You need sheet pans to like roast things on. Um, hopefully you have an oven. If you don't have an oven, then you should probably reconsider this whole cooking. Another essential, a roasting pan. I roast a lot of chicken because it's, it's really easy and really time efficient. And basically you can just roast anything. So just get, get a roasting pan. Something that's not quite as essential for your everyday cooking would be uh, a food processor, but it definitely definitely comes in handy, especially on your more like glamorous cooking days. I know that I use it a lot when I cook for other people because purees are, are fun to make, or if you're like into the cauliflower rice thing, then you're gonna need that. Um, a blender is also nice to have. I make like protein shakes stuff like that in them. So yeah, those are your main kitchen essentials. Please purchase these things if possible uh, before you get started. If not, you know, do what you can. Make way with what you have. If you, all you have is a really cheap uh, knife, then use it. But uh, be careful, don't cut yourself. I have a store on my website and I have all of the kitchen essentials that I mentioned today and it's got like the brands that I would recommend and things like that, so if you wanna to go to my website, click on store, go to my store and see all the products that I recommend and if you see something that you need, then, then you can just go ahead and purchase it right there. Thanks for watching guys, hope this was helpful and I will see you.